but it doesn't stop there. Sin never stops. <laughs> I don't know that. But you see, because even though we have chosen size 15 of the unison, we can actually change how much of it that is no, not how much of it, but how mm, you could say aggressive it's going to be. We move this and set a higher value and it will go from useful to insane. But if you're making hard style for instance, um, changing the frequency spread down here could be uh, pretty useful indeed. Put some volume in here. Another thing that is pretty useful are these uh, here. Face randomness is uh, how the 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 sound actually fluctuates. But here we have stereo spread, and if you want to have a white sound, pull that all up. If you want to have narrow sounds, as if it's coming from a spot inside uh, uh, inside the computer screen, you take it down. But normally, when you make dance music, you want a good broad stereo whiteness uh, for the unison so it's spread all out and makes a really big impression so that was our um, dial here in uh, bandwidth so what about the FM gain so uh, FM gain or modulation gain. We'll turn it all down. Uh, and I'm going to take up. Um, we're going to put some sound on. And then we're going to pull our synth interface up. Comes here. And it's over here. It's off default, and that is why you can't hear squat when you uh, start to move that button dial. You have to go in here and choose between morph, ring, PA modulation or FM modulation. Uh, F modulation. Pitch we can't. Um, it's not implemented in uh, SYN. So. But if I say yes to this uh, FM modulation, I can strengthen the modulation by turning this up here. It gets harsher. That's not normal what you want. You will very often want to get it less prominent. But let's just leave it up here in a middle high value so we can hear uh, more exactly what happens when we turn the dial in. in um, elements. Listen. So now we got this dial running working so we have this one working and we have this one working and of course it's always fun to have these guys working because uh, it gives us uh, more options uh, in the Elements user interface. So let's get these guys working too. The resonant center frequency and the resonant bandwidth. And we have to go back to our um, um, soon interface. And I'm struggling, I'm looking, I'm looking. Um, that is in the glow parameters of the instrument, this guy. Here we have it, it calls resonance. And when it opens, it opens this window and it is default off. And that is why we can't hear anything when we turn our knobs. So we can enable it and we can choose to uh, let uh, Syn create our resonance spectrum. We can use RAND1, or we can use RAND2, and we can use RAND3, and they, you can see they are more and more crazy. Uh, or you can actually 
Uh, I zero it out. You can actually draw your. Own. Yes, of course you can draw your own. It's this is Synet SuperFX. Of course you can draw your own resonant spectrum. <coughs> yeah. Just close it. And now, uh, as you already heard, as I did this, uh, these guys are working. Listen. So there you go. Now we have all dials working. And the only thing that can be a problem here is that if your computer uh, has a I would say weak, but if it's not uh, in, in the, the high end uh, or middle end of CPUs, you cannot use this. It will uh, take too much um, CPU uh, power and you will... Uh, get uh, lag in your um, uh, uh, in your composition your computer will simply have a hiccup um, but otherwise these are of course automatable and you can make all kind of interesting tricks um, bind them to uh, LFOs and the whatnot I think that is what I promised you to show today, how to get every dial in our um, uh, dial array here for uh, direct contact with the controllers in SYN. Nothing more from me, uh, have a nice day and bye bye.